Hello and welcome to the Supercast. I'm your host, Superintendent Anthony Godfrey. Today we meet two Jordan School District seniors who say their lives were changed by participating in the Governor's Honors Academy at Southern Utah University. The Academy was created to provide Utah high school students an opportunity to learn, lead, and interact with some of the most successful leaders in business, technology, humanities, education, and more. Megan Dean, a senior at Copper Hills High, and Addison Smith, a senior at Bingham High, were both selected to attend the prestigious Academy. Find out how it changed their lives, giving them confidence and a head start on the road to higher education with a four-year scholarship. First, we visit Megan in her peer tutoring class at Copper Hills High, where she is doing something she loves, working to support students who have special needs. Let's read this again. Wear sunscreen. Do you wear sunscreen when you're out in the sun? Yeah. Wipe on your skin? And that protects you from burning it, right? Uh Uh-oh. We're here with Megan in her natural habitat, Copper Hills High School. Megan, you are the president of CH Pals. Tell us a little bit about that. So CH Pals is a club where we take the students with severe disabilities and we involve them into the mainstream student life. We hold socials for them. We take them to a bunch of school events like football games, basketball games. Can you finish tracing that sentence for me? Yes. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about the Governor's Honors Academy. I think a lot of people haven't heard of it. What What's involved? So this is a program that teaches high school students their junior and senior year about leadership, communication, perspectives, like goals, and just about our futures. It was a really, really awesome week. We took classes and just from multiple people for like CEOs, um, multimillionaires, just people who taught us about leadership and how to be successful and goals and visions and just that type. Megan, who are some of the people that you heard from that really stood out that were particularly impactful for you? Um, some of my favorite speakers um, were Stuart Jones, Garrett Gunderson, David Litchford. Um, I liked the Morley brothers, too. There was a lot of other speakers, but I think those are the people that stuck out to me the most. What are some of the things that you learned from them? Stuart Jones, he talked about what's your why, which is basically like what's your purpose in doing what you're doing. Um, So one of my favorite speakers was Stuart Jones, and he talked about what's your why which is just, like, what's your purpose? And one of the activities he did, it was one of the most impactful things at GHA for me. It was um, an activity called Standing Up for Your Brothers and Sisters of GHA. And so basically he gave us a paper with lists of different struggles that we go through, and we filled them out, and we, we did it anonymously. And then we crumpled up the paper and put it in a bag, and we got somebody else's. And so he would one at a time read the struggles and then we would stand up for this person. And it was a good reminder just that like nobody was ever alone in the struggles we went through. And that um, we were just, we were there for each other. And yeah, it was one of my favorite activities. When you heard from all of these successful people, what about their message surprised you? Um... I think one of the things that surprised me the most was that, I don't know, in my mind, I always just kind of thought successful people just kind of had it all, I guess. But I found that some people came from nothing. And I I know that's a thing, but to, like, see it, like, right in front of my face was really cool. I One of the speakers, he he dropped out of middle school, I want to say and worked and now he is like millionaire billionaire something like that and because he he found success in different areas and there is another man his name is David Litchford he his entire life grew up being bullied and he struggled 
but now he's very successful and he's a really good motivational speaker and um I don't know I think it was cool to see just these people come from not that much and to have such like a strong like something really powerful to say I thought that was cool it's a thing you hear about it it's in the media it's in a movie but to really meet someone who has gone from having some really serious struggles and not having very much to being extremely successful, uh, I would think is very inspiring. Yeah, no, it, it was for sure. It kind of taught me that like, if I just work hard and devote myself to what, like to what I want to do, I'm like, it like just really taught me that I can be successful where I want to be. If I work hard with it, and some of that success, which they emphasized, is connecting with others and supporting others around you. Yeah. they. I think they really emphasis, like, they really made it clear that, like, at all of their success, like, it came from others. Like, you can't ever do anything on your own. There's all, you're, you're always going to run into roadblocks and you're always going to have struggles. And to get through them, like, you need others and you need um, you need support, just balance. And as part of being part of the Governor's Honors Academy, you receive a scholarship, is that correct? Yeah, I received a four-year full tuition scholarship for attending that academy. So That's yeah. fabulous. Yeah, well, it's awesome. <laughs> Megan, I, I have no doubt you're going to be a strong leader as part of this. I know you contacted me before the uh, before the academy part of the job was to to contact sponsors you did a great job communicating that I even got a I even got a thank you card and a nice picture from you and uh, I can just tell that you're a great young woman with a wonderful future so thanks for spending time with me and congratulations on your success with the honors academy thank you so much stay with us when we come back more on the Governor's Honors Academy and how students can work to be a part of the prestigious leadership program. Hello, I'm Stacy Worthen, Secondary Counseling Specialist for Jordan School District. Do you know all the ways Jordan School District counselors can help you and your students? School counselors play such an important role in our schools. They provide parents with resources to help guide their children in academics. They provide support with the mental and social well-being of students in our schools. And if you are in the process of preparing a student for college or just beginning the conversation of higher education, now is the perfect time to reach out to your child's counselor. We can assist with college applications and college readiness. I encourage parents and guardians to schedule an appointment and get to know your student's counselor. Together, counselors and parents can help develop plans and strategies for students to succeed long after they leave Jordan School District. Reach out. We're always here to help. You can find us and learn more at counseling.jordandistrict.org. We're here with Addison Smith to talk about her experience at the Governor's Honors Academy. Addison, thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. First of all, how did you hear about this? I think a lot of people don't know that it exists. Um, I heard about this from my neighbor who works as a school counselor. And he just knows my grades and everything and has kind of kept up on like scholarship wise for me and suggested or suggested that I applied. So your grades are good, I gather. <laughs> I do my best to keep them up. I'm sure you do. And you're a student at Bingham High School. Are you a senior this year? Yeah, I'm a senior this year. So you heard about this from your neighbor, who's a school counselor. You applied and were awarded the opportunity to attend. And I know that as a part of this, you were supposed to call and ask local businesses to sponsor you. Is that a little frightening to make phone calls like that? It is honestly terrifying, but... It was so nice to be able to go out and actually do it. It give you it taught me a lot about courage and being willing to talk to people. Old people like me do talk about the fact that 
people talk on the phone less these days, and it becomes more and more difficult if you haven't done it before. We all have difficulty picking up the phone and calling strangers, particularly if we're asking for a donation. And I'm very impressed. And by the way, you did a great job talking with me about that. And uh, so I have no doubt that you did a great job there at the Governor's Honors Academy as well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so tell me what you applied, you, you got in, um, you raised the money to be a part of that. Uh, tell me about what your experience was like. Overall, the experience was just mind-boggling. I had no idea what I was walking into. I learned so much. They taught me just things I would normally not even think that were important. That is super important, just with how we interact with everybody else and just the way we present ourselves. Tell me about some of that. What's one way that you learned to do a better job of presenting yourself? Um, Just... Show that you're more confident, like believe in yourself, um, dressing the part. If you are going to like a meeting or anything, dress more of your professional and just be who you are. Essentially, don't be that person that you like you want them to see. Be who you are. Putting your best foot forward is a great skill. And it sounds like you had some wonderful examples of how to do that. What were some of the speakers that you heard from? Um, so a couple of the speakers, uh, my probably favorite speaker was Garrett Gunderson. And he taught a lot about how you need to have a vision for what you, for your life and what it's going to affect after you're done. And we also heard from like uh, Steve and Cindy Gilbert, who are pretty well known. Um, Steve is a ranch hand and owns a ranch down in southern Utah and Cindy is a well-known lawyer and it's just don't be dependent on others. If that makes sense. So they taught a lesson about self-reliance. Yeah. So you said that Mr. Gunderson talked with you about having a vision and following that vision. What vision have you developed for yourself as a result of being part of that academy? Um, I have always had the idea of wanting to make a difference. And making a vision has kind of been hard to put for that. Right now, I want to start out by like going through and getting other people more aware of opportunities like the Governor's Honors Academy. And then also being there to like show that there are more opportunities and stuff for you to change people's lives, even if you don't realize you're doing it. I do think a lot of people don't understand just how much of an impact they can have. Is there something that you learned from the Honors Academy that you will remember for the rest of your life? Yes. Perspective is everything. What do you mean by that? You, most of the time, you will not see everything that occurs in a situation. But if you seek to understand it, you'll be put in a much better position and can do what you need to do, essentially. So understanding that you may not have the full perspective of the situation and being willing to learn more about it will get you a lot farther down the road. Yeah. I, I love what you've been learning at the Governor's Honors Academy. Um, tell me what you learned from the other people that you got to know. I understand there's a fair amount of interaction with other attendees. Yes. Um, I can honestly can't like specifically say one thing in particular. Because each person taught me something different. I had people who taught me, like, hey, you need to get out more. You need to be yourself. And I had other people say this or, like, give different ideas into things that I didn't have an idea of before. How has this changed your life? It's really affected how I viewed things. Just anything that comes into my life daily 
like the standard, um, a, like an assignment given at school. One assignment that I was recently given was to go and make a new friend every day for a week as part of like my life skills, one of my life skills class. And finding that courage is really hard to do. But with GHA, I had already had that experience with all the other participants. And so it was a lot easier just to go up and say hi and make a conversation. So once you've been essentially forced to make some friends in a circumstance where you're in tight quarters and you're close together and you know you're in it together for the week, uh, that that skill has already transferred to real life and classroom situations. Yeah, absolutely. What they taught you about confidence has obviously worked and it's been awesome talking with you. Awesome talking with you. Thanks for joining us on the Supercast. Remember, education is the most important thing you will do today. We'll see you out there.